If you've got a low-cost 3D printer with auto level like the Ender 3 Neo, but also has these adjustment knobs, you've actually got to level the bed before you auto level the bed. And some people have bought my e-leveler to make that easier, and it takes a little different procedure than it does for a manual bed. So let me show you how to use this on an auto level machine with knobs to level the bed, so you can auto level the bed and get that perfect first print right here at Filma Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. This video is also brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you have an auto level system on a low cost machine, it seems like a great solution. You don't have to level your bed. Well, the fact is it's still got adjustment knobs and springs and this bed could be off. And then you're auto leveling to a bed that's not level and the Marlin firmware can only adjust so much. So you're going to have spots maybe that don't print properly or you'll have prints that come out crooked. So you have to manually level the bed before you can auto level. And in their procedure, they basically give you the paper method. So that's why I want to show you that you can do it with e-level and actually get a better level than the paper method. The first step I recommend is reset everything to its default. So go into the configuration menu, go all the way down to the bottom and restore defaults. Click and now we're ready to proceed. For manual bed leveling, my e-leveler module comes with a G-code file that will actually home the nozzle to the right height and then position itself at each corner so you can level the bed. Well, for auto level, because of the way it offsets everything, that G-code file doesn't work. So we have to do things a little different, basically manually. So the first thing you want to do is just home it from the menu. From the LCD, click on the motion menu and then scroll down to auto home. Click on that and now it will home to the X and Y and then the Z. The probe will center to the bed, the nozzle will be offset. If you look at the nozzle, you'll see it's way offset from the bed. It'll tell you it's 5.1 millimeters, but realistically, because it's not truly zeroed, it's a little bit higher than that. Now is when we use the E-leveler to actually level the bed, but we got to adjust the Z offset to the proper height. So if you were to take a caliper and actually measure the E-leveler switch when it trips, you're going to find it's 5.7 to 5.8 millimeters. So we have to adjust the Z offset that works with this. Now because it's not truly 5.1 millimeters, it's actually offset, it's actually going to come out lower than 5.7 to 5.8. Let me show you. Now go to the move axis and down to the move Z. We have to adjust the height of the nozzle. I'm going to select 0.1 and I'm going to adjust this up to 5.8. Now take the E-leveler and line up the crosshairs right underneath the nozzle. Now I'm going to adjust the Z down until it just turns on the LED. Now we go back to the motion menu. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and disable the steppers. Now I can manually move the nozzle and the bed to get to each corner. You adjust the knobs until the LED just starts to turn on. And go around each corner. You can do this two and three times until you get your bed level. Your bed is actually leveled at this point, but because it's an auto level system, we have to set the proper Z offset. So let's do that. We have to zero out the axis, so we go back to move axis, and you can move 1, 10, 0.1. I did 0.1 here, which was probably too low. One millimeter would work. And just scroll this down until you get to zero. Now we go back to the motion menu and scroll down to probe Z offset. And this is where we'll find the default of 2.1 millimeters. Now, unfortunately, we still have to use the paper method for this. You slide a piece of paper underneath the nozzle, move it back and forth, and then lower the Z offset until you feel it grab. On this particular one, it was 2.8 millimeters. Now we're ready to finally run auto level. Click on level bed from the menu. It'll home itself to the center just like before, and then it'll do a 16 point auto level across this whole bed. When it's done, we want to save it to memory. To do that, go to the configuration menu, scroll down near the bottom, and then click on store settings. Now we can use one of the files that comes with the e-leveler. We're going to print the squares test and see how good our level is. This test print will draw squares around the bed, so this is where you can see a low spot or a missed spot or the filament not sticking. But this one, you can see is perfect. We have a perfect auto level. So that's how you can use the e-leveler to get a nice level bed before you auto level your system and give you that perfect first layer print. You can get the e-leveler at Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description below. But if you want to design your own electronics and you need circuit boards, check out PCBWay.com. Just go to PCBWay.com and you can get an instant quote. You upload your Gerber files and then go through all the different settings that they offer, silk screen, colors, and everything else. And then you'll get an instant quote. 
or you can go with their 10 boards for $5, which is a great deal. So check out PCBWay.com. It seems like auto level on these low-cost machines can be really confusing to a beginner. And this is probably one of the more confusing ones of the bunch. So hopefully I cleared that up. If there's other printers that you want to see how to use this on auto level, let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or just buy through the affiliate links in the description below. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.